welcome to beautiful Level Cross, North Carolina, home of the Petties and Petties Garage. Busy day today here at the museum. Got a special car show, event, a lot of fans roaming about. There's also a very secret, special announcement coming up shortly. That is why we are here. As you can see behind me, a uh, NASCAR truck is all wrapped up like a Christmas present under the tree. Just waiting to be unveiled to the public for the first time. I've got to find a place uh, away from people. Hold on, let's let's sneak over here. Sneak over here by the Richard Petty's house. Uh, I've got a secret to share with you. Well, it's not really a secret because by the time y'all are seeing this video, the announcement is already public, but here in real time, nobody knows. Well, some people know, but most of these people do not know. Today, the brand new Truck Series team, Faction 46, is announcing Thad Moffitt as their first ever full-time driver. No better place to announce that kind of news than right here in Level Cross, the site of so much history. The next generation of Petty about to hit the racetrack full-time. The car cover's coming off in just a couple of hours. I'm gonna try to take you guys behind the scenes. You've seen plenty of press conferences, big announcements before. But as you guys know, I do have a relationship with this team. I'm not an owner or like a partner. I don't have an official title or anything, but uh, you know, I've worked with a lot of the same folks that these new owners are working with, so there's a connection there. And, and they invited me out to document this very special occasion. So I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes. Let's go see if we can find where, oh, I gotta whisper again, where, where Thad and everybody else are, are currently hanging out. Let's see, I gotta weave through these, these people, these unsuspecting civilians. Might be in the actual museum, I'm not sure. Oh. I was in here uh, earlier this year. Thad actually gave me a cool kind of uh, exclusive tour. You can go check that video out uh, right here if you missed it. But I didn't really stop and look at the gift shop. I love vintage looking signs and these are all signed by the king. Coolest signature in the business still to this day. <gasps> Can't get distracted, I'm on a mission. Need to find Thad. Oh, but there are just so many cool pieces of history I forgot were here. Okay, they must be across the way here in the old race shop. Look at all these, look at all these people out here. It's a whole event. All right, they've gotta be around here somewhere. Whoa, crazy that they still have Richard Petty's car from his final NASCAR start. Didn't obviously end the way he hoped it would. But what an incredible piece of racing history that still sits here preserved. Man, lots of VIPs were invited to this thing today. No, too many distractions. Here we go. The official announcement won't be made until 11 o'clock, so right now all the important people are inside this little conference room. I came in and got the car one time and like one of the guys had to take to Grandpa's bobblehead. <laughs> On my dash, his head would like shake no at me. Like, <laughs> it's like it, it broke the neck on it pretty soon. I think it was like the first time I, I wrecked. Like it never moved back and forth like this anymore. It only moved left and right. So it's like it's remarkable to see all these you know, relics of petty racing history next to brand new modern faction faction 46 merchandise. The juxtaposition is is very real. Thad, last time I was here, you were showing me around, uh, giving me all the insight into the petty racing history, but today is about you. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're a couple hours away from the official reveal. What goes through a driver's head on a day like this where, like, you're the focus, all this excitement, all this anticipation, like, just how are you feeling right now? Man, there's a lot of emotion. You know, I'm ready to just get it out there and, and move forward and just focus on Daytona and the driving part. It's a lot of work that's went into this. and. Uh, it's been a process for sure, and you know, I'm really grateful for the opportunity uh, to run the truck stuff full time. But for me, just uh, to get it out there and, and kind of take yeah. a deep breath, and then I can walk around and I'm not walking on eggshells, I can tell people, like, yeah, I'm, this is what I'm doing next yeah. year, you know. It's I'm real, like, it's legit, <laughs> yeah. it's not, yeah, not just some pipe dream. Like, so, no, you, you know, it's, it's going to be really cool for us to just get that out there and then just focus on the performing yep. part after that. Absolutely, then the, the real work, I guess, begins. And obviously, the team you're joining is Faction. 46 you see the the petty 46 font you know on the uh, on your door I, what does it mean to bring that 46 into the truck series now and yeah. and kind of have that that family history be a part of what's you know a new but still family operated team well i mean for us to be the petty 75th year in racing is, is pretty incredible for a sport that's only 76 years old yeah, you know? that's a great and, point and, yeah and so for me to uh just be a tiny little part of that is is incredible for me but I like the number 46 because it gives me my own identity. Like if mm -hmm. I run the 43 my entire life, I'll never be 
Richard Petty, Absolutely. which it's always cool to be able to run the number 43, but like Adam's identity is is the 45, yeah. and Kyle, he's kind of all over the place. 42, 21, <laughs> I, th I think of the seven. Hot Wheels 44, which yeah. I don't know if you've got one of those in here. Yeah. but The yeah. Hot Wheels 44 <laughs> yeah. was, to me, Uncle Kyle, everybody yeah. has their own, some people think of him as the Mellow Yellow 42. That's you know? a good point, man, I forgot so, about all the numbers he drove, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but then Grandpa's obviously identifies with the 43, and, and mm. Lee with the 42, and even Maurice with the 42. I mean, you yeah. can identify as far back as that if you wanted to. So it's, it's incredible. for me to go uh, and, and get my own identity with my own number is really, really cool. That's amazing. Well, a few generations from now, y'all will be uh, running out of numbers in the 40s, and then I don't know what, what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. uh, but awesome stuff. Well, we're going to be following you around a little bit later today, but excited for the announcement, dude. A couple yeah. hours away. going to be fun. Yeah, appreciate you coming by, man. I, I appreciate you being here and looking forward to everything that comes out of today and then after today. Oh, Look yeah. forward to working with you this year. Absolutely. The work's just beginning. The fun. It's the just beginning. Just I like it. A small crowd is beginning to gather as we are a little less than 30 minutes away from the secret announcement. I should have shown you all this a minute ago, but while I'm here, I should look at the, the famous Reaper Shed. Behind these wooden doors lies officially a historic landmark. Established in 1949, the Petty family themselves this year, or going into 2024, will be celebrating their 75th anniversary in stock car racing. So they've been around about as long as NASCAR itself, racing in some capacity. I know we're just moments away from the announcement. I was still hush hush, but now you got the, you got the shirt on. Uh, how's it feel? It's, it's awesome. It's, yeah. it's kind of surreal. It's, yeah. it's in, being at this place and I working with the Petties. I know we were talking about you earlier, your new team owner in the sport. Obviously you know racing, but to like jump into this with the Petty family, like that, I'm sure it was daunting at first, but is it like, it's also gotta be just amazing, like an it's, incredible yeah, opportunity. I don't, I, you can't really explain the, yeah. the feeling it is. It's amazing and we're just, we're just proud to be having our family and their family. And yeah, two family have, businesses coming together. Exactly, That's going great. for us the same thing awesome. at the end of the year. Everyone uh, figuring out exactly how we're gonna coordinate this thing i've never so i must admit i've never actually been to like a, a team announcement or driver announcement or anything like that i've been to a bunch of press conferences of course but i've never like seen like a cover come off a car. actually you know what? that's not true i was at the uh when they announced garage 56 or showed off this, the like the design of the car for the first time i guess i did see that but this is this is different this is special i know a lot of the people involved in this whole endeavor at this time i'd like to announce the faction 46 is the newest team in the NASCAR Craft and Truck Series. The driver, Thad Moffitt. taking photos in front of the car. Once the crowd clears out, we'll get up close and personal, examine some of the details, but there you go. Brand new NASCAR Truck Series race team, a collaboration between Faction 46, Petty's Garage, and then of course, Nice Motorsports. They'll have a strong alignment with Nice. AE Engine involved as well, who I've been working with for many years. So that's my, uh, albeit light, connection to the team. Although, if my eyes aren't deceiving me, it looks like we're a little closer to this team than maybe I initially thought. We got Faction 46 on the quarter panel and the truck bed, but how about this? Whoa! on the B post, right above the, the Petty 75. You got the out of the groove uh, celebrating, how long has the show been going on, like eight years? Something like that. Uh, pretty surreal that I've got a little decal on this brand new NASCAR Craftsman truck entry that will begin its venture at Daytona in just a couple of months. So keep a lookout. Hey, you might might spot a little close up here and there. Might spot the old out of the groove colors, the black and yellow. Got to carry the black and yellow wherever they'll allow it. Yes, yes the petty blue is iconic, but uh, the black and yellow. You always know I'm partial. <laughs> Plenty of Faction 46 branding on the truck bed back here. They've several variations of logos. I saw them when they were working on the logos. I think I really like just the faction with the little lightning bolt 46 that I don't think NASCAR would actually allow that exact font to run on the side. But hey, you gotta, we have a good backup. The Petty 4 and the 6. I also like this little truck lightning bolt logo. Pretty cool, brand new truck series operation. Obviously in alignment with Nice Motorsports, Petty's Garage, and cool to have Thad on the truck. I met Thad a couple years ago for the first time. Uh, he gave me a tour of this place earlier this year, so I've gotten to know him a bit. 
you know, solid young race car driver, certainly has a lot to learn considering he spent basically all of last year you know, outside the NASCAR racing world. He spent most of this past year doing Trans Am stuff, so wishing him the best of luck now that he's back behind the wheel of a NASCAR stock uh, uh, truck. Here's the truck. Yeah. I mean, look at it, man. That's awesome. Got the it's classic real. font, the it, look. Yeah, it doesn't look like what Faction released a couple days ago. No, it's a little bit of a surprise. So they, you got the, you got some of their branding, you know, on yeah, there. Yeah, but, the uh, lids are pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome blend of the old school, the classic, and then the, the new, this modern yeah. race team. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Long line of fans in here to meet the king. Richard Petty. I love how his hat has like a Christmas sort of like, uh, I don't know, uh, overlay to it. Holiday edition. <laughs> I appreciate the, the Petty, Moffat families for having me out. Faction 46, of course, through my relationship with AE Engine. Great opportunity for some exclusive behind the scenes, extra content to show you guys a little more of what uh, it looks like preparing for a big you know, uh, announcement reveal press conference like this. Off to uh, Nice Motorsports, I believe. Hope they have a great first season. Gonna be some growing pains as with any new team, but hopefully they have some great runs this year. That Nice collaboration is going to be crucial, I'm sure. Uh, but thanks for tuning in, folks. A little behind the scenes look at a, a brand new race team's NASCAR announcement. I'll catch you in the next episode, folks. Have a good one.